because of the mile wide UFOs, a fleet of in our solar system. Uh, and that's not only that, not only that, someone by the name of T. Chase, who studies all sorts of manners of uh, prophecies, you know, and Nostradamus and uh, Revelation chapter 17, uh, 19 to 21 this is what he concluded he believes Putin Russia is the Antichrist and will launch this was this by the way this was written T. Chase wrote this in June 2000 uh, 20th of June 2016 he believes Putin Russia is the Antichrist and T. Chase believes that Putin will who is the Antichrist, he, he's, he claims, launches, will launch a nuclear war between August and September 2017. Uh, can you imagine it? All these things, to, they, uh, it's happening in 2017, latter part of 2017. And the, he claims that these so called aliens uh, will. In, there will be an alien invasion 2017 to counteract and stop and stop the nuclear war caused by Putin in September 2017 mm. it, it's strange I mean all these NASA and I mean it all seems to tie in with the uh, revelation chapter 12 about uh, the red dragon uh, and also we call it I believe that's talking about planet X there could be a link there and uh, some sort of alien uh, either sort of alien invasion or visitation will they come down these so called alien beings or come down at the time t September latter part of 2017 well according to this is it, the woman and a dragon this is it the, at the time of the woman this is it and then a, a, this is chapter 12 of Revelation then a great and mysterious sight appeared in the heaven sky there was a woman who was dressed who, whose dress was the sun and who's, who had a moon under her feet and a crown of 12 stars on her head she was soon to give birth and she and the pains and the suffering of childbirth made her cry out. So at the time of the heavenly sign where uh, Virgo, uh, the woman, gives birth to Jupiter, what do you call it, and according to this, uh, it's all will be fulfilled around S September uh, 2017 because that's when Jupiter was in the womb of Virgo uh, for nine months and just happens it says here just about to give birth another when she gives birth and, and this this sign in heaven another mysterious sight s appeared in the sky there was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and a, a crown on each of its heads with its tail he dragged a third of the stars out of the sky and threw them down to the earth see this red dragon is also <laughs> Could represent, uh, I believe, planet X. Seven heads. Well, isn't uh, the constellation? What do you call it? Uh, the Nemesis constellation uh, with the, the Nibiru have seven. They have seven planets. And he says it drags a third of the stars to Earth. And this would also this would represent uh, verse seven stars represent angels casting down then war broke out in heaven Michael and his angels fought against the dragon who fought back with his angels but the dragon was defeated and he and his angels were not allowed to stay in heaven any longer the huge dragon was thrown out that serpent called devil and Satan that deceived the whole world he was thrown down to the earth and all his angels with him it sounds to me like uh, could it be we will see this battle in the heaven around the time of uh, 
the, the woman's sign in Revelation 12 and from and Jesus Michael the archangel fighting the angels will we see this type of invasion in the heavens or if not they're cast down from the first heaven to us to the earth we might that might be the time when these so-called uh, alien or deceitful wicked spirits or Nephilim well this might be the time they reveal themselves to earth maybe September or whatever latter part of 2017 the first time they reveal themselves to earth could it be that as T Chase says that they bring about they bring about uh, not only they, they think they can bring about peace but it's just a deception saving the world from nuclear annihilation but we'll see what the Bible says eventually let's see what the Bible says in Revelation verse 13 11 to 16 when these so called beings come down the Pope will welcome these so called be beings you know but it's all a deception from bringing peace that's false peace and claiming they're the creators and that's going to be the lie that I want to warn you against Revelation 13 also this is where it, God warns us there I saw a beast coming up out of the sea uh, no sorry that's uh, Revelation 13 verse 11 then I saw another beast which came out of the, of the earth it had two horns like a lamb's lamb's horns and it spake like a dragon okay. it used, used the vast authority of the first beast in its presence it forced the earth and all those who live on it to worship the first beast whose wounds had healed this second beast performed great miracles it made fire come down out of the heaven to earth in the sight of everyone and it deceived all the peoples living on the earth by means of its miracles which it was allowed to perform in the presence of the first beast yes with it with its miracles it will and it will deceive all all the people living on the earth you know they will make out that they are the creator of heaven and earth that they they're the ones that they, they but they're not this is the deception you know it's all a lie the, these these beings will even make out that they're, they're, they're gonna they're the true god and will sit even yes these beings will deceive mankind and and also they will make out the ones that are the what do you call the and the christ the, the second coming of christ they make out that he's a christ but this second beast performed great miracles and made fire come down out of heaven to earth in the sight of everyone and it deceived all people living on the earth by means of miracles which it was allowed to perform in the presence of the first beast the beast told them to build an image in honor of the beast that had been wounded by the sword and lived the second beast was allowed to breathe life into the image of the first beast so that the image could talk and put to death all those who would not worship it yes will you believe it the it's actually but these fallen angels or these so-called aliens and uh, the beast or the antichrist that comes at the, at the abyss will eventually show themselves to what who they really are you know not the true creators not the true christ because he never said he was going to come back in flesh christ but you know it, it, the bible says that uh, false people this is it to worship it this is it the beast forced all the people small and great rich and poor slave and free to, to have a mark placed on their right hands or on their foreheads I'm sure the Vatican will be behind these people because they will be deceived they would have been deceived themselves no one could buy or sell unless he had the mark there's the beast's name or the number that stands for the name this calls for wisdom whoever is intelligent can work out the meaning of the number of the beast because the number stands for the man's name it's number 666 yeah. please 
I'm doing this video so please don't get deceived because when these beings come in the name of God and uh, we call it, and also the Antichrist saying he's a, he's a Christ who sits upon uh, the throne the third temple make himself out as God himself or do not believe it do not get the mark of the beast or else you will get the mark of the beast so you know be warned that not not to worship these people because they are not the true God because God in heaven only God in heaven wants his worship and his and he wants exclusive worship Yahweh he's the true creator these beings fallen ones were created themselves they're only angels and you know the only thing we can do is worship not get not be filled when they come and worship the true God in heaven your your way if you haven't come to uh, know Christ it's time to repent through Yeshua's name for salvation because only he is the way of salvation and uh, he won't come back again that's a, that's part of the alien agenda the Vatican whatever and these uh, these beings that will come to fool mankind and so you know don't 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 be don't be fooled by that and uh, come to know God and worship uh, his name and repent now thank you very much for Yeshua's name